All right, time to take down the bug shaman. After we auto save. I, I don't think I like the goo on these walls. I mean, I've, you know, I've played Dead Space. I, I've seen more unpleasant uh, environments, you know. Da -da. Let's talk before I just shoot you. Uh, nope, there, nope. I deny you. Uh, you're, you're both crazy. And you'll die. Boop. Can I actually... Uh, or do I want to... You know what? You know what? Just all the bullets. Can you... Just, yep, just hack and slash, man. Hack and slash. That's what I'm not paying you to do, actually. You, uh, you're here on your own free will. Oh, it's a mute. Wait, can I, uh... Nope, totally immune. Wasted all them points. That's fine. Um... Come over here, mage. And... Perfect. Beautiful. Um. Oh, fuck. I think I'm gonna pull a she's coming right for us. As well as a you no longer have a head. Which didn't quite work. You slow that down. I wonder how many turns I have. Also... Just reload that. Oh wait, do you still have? You do. 20 damage. With some, uh... Yeah, put some dots on that. You... Just cast more spells. Just sling sling that shit, man. Be a spell slinger. I don't like the looks of that. I think I'm losing my mage. You know what? Just just go away. I have ruined I don't I don't, I think you were trying to ruin everything. Oh, damn it. You're just going to die. I gained 10 karma. Beautiful. Oh wait, no. Let's get the mage to cast super hitty on you. And let's see if we can't heal yourself up. I might as well just go through his actions. Let's, you know, let's just finish that off. Plus armor. Great. Now it's murdered. Go here. Set up your alarm clock. It's okay, gun's got a delete button. I 
can still pull that off, right? Yeah. Deleted. And you set up your alarm clock. Fitting damage. You can even reload. That's that's pretty great. Um Why don't you just can she get hurt? No. Uh, we'll put you in the middle of the room, just kind of exploring. Oh, there's that thing. That's right. Let's, uh... Well, it's physical form still, so cast armor on yourself. That didn't go well. I got I picked up a doctor's kit to, to heal him, right? Can I actually? I can't shoot you. Do you have... Oh, you heal the mage. Beautiful. We will just make sure we're topped up for the spirit form. And then... Nope. Oh. Light it on fire. Fire cleanses. Oh, 44. That was a crit. Way to go. I am super proud of you. Like, very proud. I'm, gl I'm glad you didn't waste that healing. Set that up. Get my uh, bug alarm clock, as I'm calling it. Yeah, this with the uh, shotguns, it's kind of reminding me of um, uh, what's that movie? Spiritual successor to uh, to Ghostbusters. Dan Aykroyd's in it. So's um, uh, what's his name? Agent Mulder. And uh, I think Orlando Jones. Evolution. Evolution. That's that's one. Yeah. I mean, they just had regular shotguns. They didn't have ghost shotguns, but still. Get fucked. <laughs> I don't care that I keep missing with one. It's uh It's still amusing to me. Then again, like I could, you know. Did we kill them all? Oh, well, let's just reload. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It doesn't take too, too much to amuse me sometimes. Just make sure there's nothing over there. Venom bomb hurts. I gained some karma. Oh, and it's over. Awesome. Are we gonna ghost punch a white hair lady? Oh no. Eh, you get what you fucking deserve right now. Oh, that's a big spider. Big, big, big spider. Yeah, let's take her. But now I... I mean, everybody who liked Sam can now kick the shit out of her. That's pretty...
pretty cool. I guess. I mean, that's, you know, I, I think I said before, star making sure somebody starves to death is probably worse than actually fucking killing them, even though, you know, you don't actually pull the trigger. It's way, way more cruel. Uh, James Teller the third. It was very dramatic. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, thanks, Murder Clown. Glad to be of service. Hmm. What do I want to do? Do I want to fuck over that guy? Do I want a corporate job? I'll just get paid. There we go. Ba da da da, coyote. What do you think? A little more involved. <laughs> I like her. She's she's pretty good. I mean, she owns a snake, though. That's you know. That's a. Uh, You know, getting dirty, but um, yeah, I don't like snakes. Snakes are uh, snakes are kneeless bastards. They don't, they, they don't have knees. They nope, no no no. Doctor Dresden. Just making more work for you. I'm sorry, you prefer natural causes. Yeah. Vigilante attacks. Mm, wow. So, so much. Almost forgot about the money. Sure. Cool. So that's probably how the game ends. Which means this whole little thing was so dramatic. Uh, nah, da, da. Well, it's a cult. Then it's a pretty big cult, probably. I mean, look at the size of the door. It's kind of like, uh, actually, the... The Scientology, which I've I've been across the building that was an old hospital in Los Angeles, and it is it is big, it is blue, it is it it is a sight, but um, it is definitely it gives off the vibe, the vibe of uh, there's um, no, oh, the German fucked off to Germany, but uh, he's a friend. Oh, he's a fellow Shadowrunner. Neat. Har to har to har. I lied to you. But no, the Scientologist, man, I don't... I also, I used to do catering and... I, I saw them behind the scenes talking about how to run their, their thing and how to whip people up into a donation frenzy. Uh, it was, it was, it was, you know, I will, I, no, it was just terror. It was terrible. It was kind of like, uh, it was a big fucking scam. <laughs> like, sorry if you're a Scientologist. I don't, you know, just like you view all other religions as null and void. I uh I view yours as kind of the same. It's you know, everybody has their one truth. If that's your truth, fine. You be happy there. I uh I'm not going to actively dissuade you to not, but uh 
I'll think about it because I like you, Jake. Do do do. But yeah, Scientology. It it creeps me out. It's. I didn't know he had a face tattoo. Oh, more Sam. I didn't know he was a half-elf. He didn't look it, but that's still cool. Uh, thank you for whatever you did. Not even... Oh, yeah, you're, you're dead. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's that's tragic. They tell my twin that murdered me I love her. I still think it was like the mom that masqueraded as the twin. I don't know. And fade to black. Uh, sensationalized. Blah. Cool. The Watts family has since been lost to the shadows. Well, that was Shadowrun Returns, the uh, base. And I played as a gun-toting gun of gun. Here's everybody who worked on this. It, you know, for a... What did I play this for? Ten hours-ish? Well, with my fuck-ups, about ten hours. Uh, enjoyable. I do recommend... I recommend playing it for yourself if you uh, don't mind having it all spoiled for at the end or you know it'd be interesting to do different paths different you know uh, different builds playing eyes gun was kind of easy mode maybe you know a melee would be a lot harder you'd have to do a lot more But for a base game, pretty decent. I know that there are uh, people have done their own, or you can do your own homemade, um, what do you call it, adventures through this. Uh, you, you can do several, you know, paths or whatever. Basically, you know, make your own Shadowrun campaign and just have the computer do all your dice. Just kind of like Neverwinter Nights. Which is a game I have, and I do like me my D&D. But as it's uh, getting to be closer to October, which is my favorite fucking month in the year because I love Halloween. I, I, I really love Halloween. I think I will uh, switch over to something more spoopy, maybe. I have a couple things that I have in mind. And, uh, yeah. Sorry I didn't have any stories in this one, but, you know, it didn't really last that long. It didn't last long enough for me to bumble through the uh, empty attic that is my brain and just come across, like, the old picture of a memory. You know, because that's, that's always how it is. You go home, you look through, like, your childhood bedroom, or you look through the box you had, you know, as a kid, and you go, Oh, hey, look, I, I played soccer. <laughs> we were actually good. The, uh, I actually have in my room at my parents' place still. They haven't touched it. I don't, I don't, don't know why. I think they've just piled crap in it. But I, I plaster the walls with a bunch of things. I uh, have a newspaper clipping of the time that my freshman team of basketball, my freshman basketball team actually won the state championship. You know, which is the way things worked in my state. That's not impressive. You know, no freshmen's made varsity out of my class. And we basically kind of just tagged along and played other other schools with the varsity and the JV. And usually it was boys at one school, girls at the other. So if you were, you know, away, 
the the girls would be home and rarely did you travel together but the few times you did it was cool but uh as freshmen yeah we we actually won we did okay or maybe it was the jv team maybe maybe it was less impressive than being the freshman team that won maybe it was jv i think yeah actually yep scratch all that it was it was the jv team that my first year playing jv because i played for two years because i wasn't good enough to make varsity until the end and uh, even as a senior in high school the coach basically said hey you're making this team only because you hustle and you're out of shape and overweight because I was. I took I took a lot of time off in between football and basketball and did absolutely jack all. And he said, you know, you're not going to play. You're just here to make everybody else work harder. Is that okay with you? Because if it's not, I'll cut you right now. You know, but don't have any illusions that you're going to play. It was good enough for me. And then I actually started earning, you know, minutes towards the end of the Towards the end of the season, because I hustled my ass off. My my coach was a uh, is still a, a good guy, and you know recognizes that sort of character, effort, and hard work, and never just dismissed anybody. But he allowed himself to be proven wrong, and allegedly, I'm I'm not trying to make myself, you know, self-aggrandize myself, but he actually. Told my parents later, I probably should have played him more towards the end of the season. We we started losing. It was, you know, so I don't know if that was just out of, oh, should have given the kid more of a shot because oh, we were fucking going down anyway. Or if it was a recognize, you know, recognizing my talents or anything like that. Not that I have talents. Like I, my, uh, my other coach when I was playing JV accused me of eating nothing but potato chips before every practice because I could not catch the fucking basketball. He would hit me square in my hands and just woof, go off to the side and slip through. But we're only in the M's. We're only in the M's. And I should keep talking to uh, play through all the credits to give... Kudos to everybody who just worked on and QA tested and backed the game I played because it was good. I enjoyed myself. I'm a little upset we didn't get to see Baron Somdi more. I'm a little upset that a couple characters didn't get to come back, but I know absolutely nothing about the production cycle for this game. I haven't looked into it. And I know that uh, the team isn't that big. This was their first game, their first outing. And what they did get right, they they really got right. I I don't understand why I was getting karma right up until the end unless there were, you know, some uh some experience bonuses like I know um I know like in when you play a white wolf game, you get so much experience and then that allows you to buy a dot but you don't necessarily gain uh, you don't necessarily gain that dot and you can you can spend your experience any way possible. I think it's like 10, 10 experience per dot. Last time I checked or last edition I played well, uh, however you want to do that, say that, work that out. We're back to the A's. Oh my fuck. <laughs> but um that was that was what I thought. Like, you know, one dot costs 10. The second dot in that same skill costs 20, I believe. Unless I'm totally wrong. But base 10 systems like that are, are really cool. And if you haven't played a uh, White Run game, or White Wolf game, they were good. They used to be good. I know the the World of Darkness documentary, documentary has been... Uh, suggested several times and I actually watched it and it was it was pretty good again I don't think people the people I knew that LARP didn't dress up to that extent unless they went to a big convention so I don't think it's all you know top hats and gothic wear all the time a lot of the time it's just shorts and a t-shirt and I am who I am but I'm saying I'm somebody different and I you know I never I think I said it before. I I never got into LARPing. I did I did try it once, and it just wasn't wasn't my cup of tea. If you have fun with it, I'm happy for you. I don't. I know people that uh, there's something 
there's a there's a group in my state that actually used to be active and they're not part of the SCA but they would make a bunch of temporary structures and actually have a little encampment and get together once a month and actually LARP in the woods and they had a little river where they could do things they could do anything like that I think I told the story earlier or at least talked about this earlier in in this block of playing Shadowrun and it was a uh, it was a good time they always had fun but this is this is the one thing I will say against my friends that did it is whenever they needed time off from work they would always say, oh, yeah, I go camping. And they did. And, like, you'd sleep out in a tent. Like, it's not like you're lying. But, you know, when you're, when I'm the only person you have to answer to, but you're too uh, embarrassed to say it in front of anybody else, like, come on, man. Like, I don't care. I have to cover for you because you're going to go lark. whoop do fucking do You know, I don't care. Somebody else might overhear the conversation. So you have to say, I have to. I'm, I'm going camping, you know, camping. Eh, eh, eh. You know, I, I wish more people were comfortable being themselves sometimes. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable being myself most of the time. You know, I still have to work on that, so, you know, there's me being slightly hypocritical. But, that being said, you know, enjoy the things you like. I think, uh, a, a person who, who so far I deeply, deeply respect said liking things shouldn't be hard. And I think enjoying something shouldn't be hard either. So if it's too much of a, of a hassle, you know, or too embarrassing for you, you know, I think you gotta, you gotta come to terms with that and try to just own it. Just fucking own it. Look at Star Wars. I grew up loving Star Wars, okay? And in the 90s, you would get beat up going to grade school talking about loving Star Wars. You, you liked Ninja Turtles, you didn't like Star Wars, that was, you know, for fucking nerds. And this was back when being a nerd was a bad thing. And, you know, a couple times, yeah, I got, uh, I, I got told, you know, you can't play, you're a fucking nerd. You know, when we'd, we'd play, play outside on the playground. And I, okay, fine, I still like Star Wars. I, I loved it. I absolutely lived, you know, eat, breathed, didn't shit Star Wars. But, you know, it was something that was deeply, deeply important to me. I never hid from it. Just like people in the 80s when liking D&D. You know, it was a nerd game, but if you loved it, you loved it. You know, I never, I, even when I was in high school, I never shied away from liking playing D&D with my friends, and I played two sports. And then... Uh, I think junior year got into the theater club and drama club, which was a, a blast as well. And it's just different people, but I, I get along with most everybody, you know, I get along with people who want to get along. It was, uh, it's not that hard to treat people like people. I don't think, I don't know. Maybe I'm a fucking mutant, but. I saw Good Bad Flicks. That is a very, very good uh, YouTube channel that I enjoy because I also like terrible movies. They're not terrible. Movies where, you know, they don't have a budget, so they tried. They just didn't have the uh, sometimes skill and sometimes funds to do what they want. But heart and soul count for a lot, and it's very endearing when you see somebody uh, pour themselves into a creative work like that. Like this game, like you could tell a lot of people cared. They got the setting right, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, call me an idiot. You know, but it, it felt, it felt properly dark. It felt, you know, or properly, uh, properly weird. I mean, you had giant fucking bugs that were undead. Undead zombie bugs and magic. You know, with a guy who murdered them all with an assault rifle. <laughs> and then a ghost shotgun. So, can we just, yeah, we're going to speed it up. A lot of people back this. That is awesome. It might just be replaying. 
you know what, I'm just going to say it's replaying. Because I think I've seen some of these names before. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, I've rambled long enough. You, I'm not doing anything entertaining. So I'm going to click back, and here we are. If you, uh... No, I have another one to play through. Unless I, uh... Do I have these? Well, we'll figure it out later. Apparently I don't have these. I can't click play. But... I'll do something else. I will get on that. Because I enjoy doing this. I hope you... Eh, if you didn't enjoy it, go do something that you enjoy. Why are you sticking around this long if you don't enjoy it? So, take care of yourself. Make sure you get plenty of vitamin C. That isn't just, that's just good solid advice, kind of like uh, wearing sunscreen. You know, I don't think enough of us get vitamin C. I also, allegedly, am not giving out medical advice, but... Uh, vitamin C may help reduce allergies because it helps with the histamines or something like that. Go do some research like vitamin C, whatever. Don't just take my dumbass, uh, vaguely remembered or remembering, you know, uh, sentence. You know, again, it's not advice, but, you know, see if it works. See if I'm completely full of shit. And if I am, yeah, tell me I'm full of shit. Till the next time I'm full of shit, I have Bag Magnificent Flounder. This has been Shadowrun Returns by Hairburn Schemes. Have a delightful day. And if it's not delightful or wonderful, I hope it changes and becomes wonderful. Because I always want the best for people. Peace out.